I'm almost where I want to be. I'm close. Oh, whoa. How did he get in front of me? Where did he come from? It's that juggernaut tunnel vision. I did not see him walk right in front of me. Maybe he came from behind me. I don't know. But either way, I'm finally where I want to be. I'm in my camp spot. And I might just be able to make this juggernaut work. I might be able to stay alive for the rest of this game. I might have a successful juggernaut. It's really a camping game. You gotta, you gotta camp. You have to be indoors. Oh, look at this guy. Oh, come on, come on, teammate. Get out the way. Don't you hate that when your teammates are blocking your... Uh-oh. Switch, switch, switch. Woo! I didn't take any hits there. Is this entertaining? Is this entertaining? Get pistol whipped. Let me see if I can reload this. But when I'm using Juggernaut, I like to be inside because I was playing on one map. I forgot what map it was. The other team dropped a stealth bomber, an airstrike. Oh, he's trying to, he's trying to drop shot a Juggernaut. That's a new move, trying to drop shot a Juggernaut. One time I took out a juggernaut with a drop shot knife. Does anyone remember that video? Does anyone remember the video where I drop shotted a juggernaut and then I knifed him to kill him? You ain't Chris Smooth, baby. But I was playing on one game. The other team dropped a stealth bomber, then an airstrike, and then the predator missile, and then get turned on. And after that, I always said, okay, let me make sure I have a roof over my head so that that can't happen. And I got to make sure I'm moving so that people with RPGs can't just hit me. They got to actually aim. Juggernaut is very effective, and I'm playing with green guys right now. If I had a team, if I was playing with a team, they'd understand what I'm doing right here. They'd be watching the left for me. The right, they'd be killing people as they're trying to come kill me. I'd be even more effective, but even with green guys, if you get your camp... Oh, oh, these guys are desperate. They're so desperate, they're pulling out C4s. Get down to the ground. Get get down. <laughs> I've been having fun on the 360. What can I say? I'm back for a little bit. And I just want to see if the tactics I've been using on the PS3 will work on the 360, because I know a lot of people forever... It's always been that myth, that rumor, that game is totally different when you go to another console. The PS3 players are trash. The 360's way better. There's more competitors. The tactics you're using on the PS3 won't work on the 360. And I don't know if I can co-sign those statements. So I'm gonna experiment. That's what I'm doing right now. I'm running an experiment. I'm using the same tactics that were working for me on the PS3 on the 360. And I'm going to see what happens. I was having a lot of success with the AK-47 lately on the PS3. So I said, let me load it up on the 360. And I'm leveling it up now because I want to be able to use the extended mag. So I got to get a lot of kills and use it for a long time before I can get that. And that's something I actually like better about Black Ops. Was that you got to pick the attachments you would go with. Because you use COD points, you use money. I like that system better. Because after you've prestiged about one or two times, you generally know what attachments you're going to want to use on certain guns. And so you can save money and you won't have to waste them. Because in this game, when you're leveling up and when you're using guns, a lot of the time you're earning attachments you don't even want to use. Like the hybrid sight or maybe the thermal sight or maybe the holographic sight. Like in this game, I don't use any of those sights. I just use a red dot if I'm going to use a sight. So I'm going to continue to experiment 360 versus PS3. And to me, the game is the same game on both consoles. It's the exact same game. So if something's working for you on one console, why wouldn't it work for you on the other console? And why do I like using Juggernaut all of a sudden? Well, it's really just a mind game. Don't you hate it when you're out there and you, you call out that Reaper? And the other team, as soon as you call out the Reaper, they just go into this mode where they're like, oh, that's going down immediately. You called in a kill streak, that's going down immediately. I'm taking that out right now. 
so they take out your reaper early maybe you only get one to two kills maybe three kills and you earned your pave low or your ac 130 and oh ho 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 i just earned my juggernaut and it gets it gets stolen ah that's something that hasn't happened to me yet on a ps3 though because normally when i throw it out i don't throw it out into a dangerous spot like right there that that, that must have been a glitch i mean we had three flags <laughs> We were triple capping and I thought that our teammates were there, so I thought it was safe, but it wasn't safe. But back to that debate about why I'm using Juggernaut. So if your Reaper gets shot down, then your AC-130 or your Pablo is going to get shot down almost immediately. So obviously the AC-130 is a little more valuable because it's tougher to shoot down in the Pablo, but it's still kind of annoying. So when I sense that I'm in that kind of lobby, what I like to do is pull out the Juggernaut because after they shoot down the Reaper and I've earned my Juggernaut, now they have to deal with Juggernaut on the ground and they have to switch their class again. They have to switch off from their Stinger missile to their RPG. And if they do that, and if I'm running with a team, then my team is going to let their Reapers fly. So by using Juggernaut, it's like, it's like I'm trolling those people that think that they can just ruin all your killstreaks right away. And oh, look at my teammate trolling. You didn't know this was going to be a MOAB gameplay. You didn't know somebody on my team was going to drop the MOAB. That's Blue Yoshi. Splash. So by using Juggernaut, I pretty much own all those people that think they can just take out all the air support immediately. They're going to have to deal with me on the ground. It's going to make them focus in on that juggernaut it's gonna annoy them it's gonna take a little more time than it is to aim up at the sky and of course one of the cons of doing that is that your score you won't get as high of a score because if you're not using juggernaut obviously you can keep going you can get another reaper you can get another set of a pave lower ac 130 you can get a higher score and that is true but i don't really care about getting a higher score i just like to make those people that like to take out kill streaks angry with Jug. I like to camp with Jug. I like to be annoying with Jug. And I can't be as annoying with my kill streaks that are in the air because they can just shoot them out and they get some satisfaction from that. And look at this montage worthy moment right here. I'm beasting. So, what do you think will be the outcome of my Xbox 360 experiment? This is only the first video. Splash. And I was abusing the ACR class that I used on a PS3 on Village. And I was making it splash with the Reaper with the AC 130. I still got to bring that to you. I got some more juggernaut moments, some more successes, some more fails. Got a lot of good videos coming. Look at that fail right there. That is some BS. BS. Best